So we have another question of how can we release the fears we all seem to have and become fearless? And let me ask that, okay? Okay, um, they keep on showing me like a cliff, like it's like, you know, when people say, oh, if I'm smoking or, oh, I'm addicted to something, um, those type of situations, some people go really cold turkey. Uh, that's the saying that they just um, quit exactly what they're doing and just go full throttle into this new life. Um, some people do baby steps. Um, both ways are fine. It, it, there's no judgment on it. It's, it's what works for you that's really important. Um, to become fearless, they were showing that you have, it, it's almost like taking the steps and some, some people it's like just walking off the cliff and trusting that you're going to fly. Now, I don't say to do this literally, um, I'm just saying metaphorically. So they keep on showing me metaphorically to just do little things to almost show the, um, to prove your faith to you. I hope that makes sense. Um, for instance, for me, it's not, I, I do little things to always test, um, to increase my intuition. So, um, and I, the biggest thing out of all of that is that I don't expect an answer. I don't expect my answer. Um, my dog just walked through the video camera. <laughs> um, so... Be fearless is to see that you have wings. Not to create them, not to hope that you have them, is to see them, is to feel them. And the only way that you could feel them is to fly. So it's literally stepping off your own cliff. Not literally stepping off a cliff, but the things that maybe scare you, it's, it's kind of like you do have to go kind of cold turkey of just pushing your boundary just a tiny bit. A tiny bit not that uh, where you don't feel safe that's not um, constructive so testing your wings basically <laughs>